Hi, I'm Paul Sharp, and I'm here at D'Addario. I'm from the University of North Carolina School of the Arts, and I'm here to show you a few things about how to stand with your double bass, how to adjust it properly, and get it so you're comfortable with the instrument. First, I want to find the right height for my end pin. I'm going to pull it out about where I think it might work for me. And I'll lift it up. I'm going to show you my method for determining exactly the right height. If I stand straight and tall, looking straight forward, I'm going to be interested in where my hand uh, is in relationship to the bridge. What happens is I want this bridge to reach right about to where I would wear a ring on any of my fingers. And you can see here, I've got it sized a little short for me. So I'll readjust. We'll try this again. And it feels and looks perfect. That's kind of an interesting way to do it because what I'm after is the ideal height for my bow arm when it sits on the string. A lot of people will say, uh, perhaps you should be looking at the left hand and if the index finger is pointing at your eyeball, you've got it the right size. However, I like to do this a little differently and just make sure that my bow arm is comfortable because for me, tone is everything with a double bass. You want that big, fat, warm, resonant tone and if the bass is just situated for your left hand, that's great, but you're bowing up here, you're going to get a very thin, diffuse, not very pleasant sound. Or if it's a little high and you're here all the time, that um, does not serve your tone very well either. It makes it hard and grating. So ideally, we want our bow to lie right about midway between the end of the fingerboard and the bridge. And this method of standing works for that purpose. One of the things about standing with the double bass, once you've got it to the right height, is to double check and make sure that you've got the right size bass for yourself. The way I do this, once I've set the end pin height, is to put my left hand up here in what we call first position, and just make sure that that left hand is about the level of my face. Perhaps this index finger is pointing at my eyebrow or my eyes. If that's happening, then I'm pretty well assured that this bass is the right size for me. In some instances, if the bass is too large, for instance, I'll start looking like this and know that, oh, I need to bump down to the next size, perhaps half or quarter or whatever it is. Or if it's too low, then I need to move up in size for my double bass. But with those two things, the end pin height and then just checking this to make sure it's comfortable and is pointed at your eyebrow, uh, those two things will assure you that you've got the right size bass and you've got it sized appropriately for you.